Rhapsody of Realities. Tuesday, March 28, 2023. Topic, Stay in Christ. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord, Isaiah 54 colon 17. This opening verse is one of the blessings of Israel's millennial kingdom under the Messiah, but it's true of us in Christ today. In Him, we live and move and have our being. We're guaranteed divine protection from all weapons of any nature, formed or used against us. In Christianity, we dwell in Christ. Christ is our home. In Christ, we're in safety. We're immune from hurt or harm. It's like what God did for the children of Israel in the Old Testament. Exodus 12:22-23 says, And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin, and none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel, and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. He told the children of Israel to stay inside their houses because the death angel was coming to town, there would be no safety outside. Then he instructed them to mark their doorposts and lintels with blood to prevent them from being destroyed along with the Egyptians. They did as God instructed and they were preserved. As long as they stayed where God told them to stay, the death angel couldn't touch them. It's the same thing today, as long as you're in Christ as long as you stay in the truth of God's word death, evil, and peril will pass over you. You'll lie perpetually in victory. When the reality of the word and who you are in Christ dawns on you, you suddenly come to a place of absolute confidence and independence, where you realize that you're superior to Satan and nothing he does can affect you. This is our life in Christ. Glory to God. Confession. Prayer. Further study, 2 Corinthians 2 14, Psalm 91 5 9. 1-year Bible reading plan, Luke 7 36-50 and Joshua 1-2. Rhapsody of Realities. Wednesday, March 29, 2023. Topic, Deal with it on your knees. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down, and prayed, Luke 22 41. Our opening verse reminds of what the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians 3 14 15, I bow my knees before the Father of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Learn to bow your knees in prayer. Sometimes people go through tough times and severe persecutions. The way to deal with such situations is on your knees in prayer. In Luke 18 1 8, the Lord Jesus emphasized the importance of persistence in prayer. This is because being the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, you can change anything through prayer. When Satan stirs persecution against us, take it to the Lord in prayer. Never allow any crisis or situation take your attention such that you begin to mull it over, feeling helpless. One minute with the Holy Ghost will make a far much greater impact than five hours of melancholy and sad cogitations. So, pray in, and with, the Spirit. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. James 5:13. Ephesians 6:18 says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. It doesn't matter the persecution or how unsavory the economy of your nation is, keep praying about it. Ecclesiastes 11:3 says, If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth, and if the tree fall toward the south, or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. Keep watering the clouds with prayer, soon enough, the condensation will take place and there'll be a deluge, the answers will come pouring down. Confession The Lord reigns and rules in the affairs of men. The Lord is strong and mighty, the God of all flesh, and there's nothing too difficult for Him. He's the God of possibilities, and He's given me the power of attorney to use the name of Jesus to effect the changes I desire. Therefore, I live an ever-winning life, 
with dominion over Satan and his cohorts, spreading the gospel of Christ in my world and beyond, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Luke 18 colon 1, 1 Thessalonians 5 17, James 5 16 AMPC. One Year Bible Reading Plan, Luke 8 colon 1 21 and Joshua 3 4. Rhapsody of Realities. Thursday, March 30, 2023. Topic, Don't Entertain Satan's Thoughts. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, think on these things, Philippians 4 8. Some time ago, the report went viral of a 32-year-old nurse who was accused of murdering seven newborn babies, including two brothers from a set of triplets. She carried out this despicable act over the course of a year in the neonatal unit of a certain hospital. The police had recovered apparent confession notes from her home after her arrest in which she had penned some of her heinous thoughts. On one of the notes, she had written in capital letters, I am evil. I did this. What would make a lady carry out such a diabolic act, and confess herself as evil? Those suggestions were given to her by demons. There are so many evil things that demons make people do which the people, in their natural minds, would never do. But demons practice on people for some time by suggesting things to them. Those bad thoughts come to their minds again and again until they start enjoying them. They may be thoughts of suicide or thoughts of hatred. Such thoughts can come to someone for no reason, and when he or she dwells on them, the demons go to the next level of making them act their thoughts. That's why Ephesians 4.27 says, Neither give place to the devil. You give place to him by giving place to his thoughts and words. Don't entertain his thoughts. When he comes with those negative, depressing thoughts thoughts that are contrary to God's word tell him off immediately. Respond with the word and he'll flee. If he tries to run rampage around you, remember what Jesus said would be a sign for those who believe in him, he said, in my name shall they cast out devils, Mark 16 17. So, cast him out, cast out his thoughts. So many things that happen in our world are influenced by demons. That's because the system of the world was created by Satan. And only men and women of faith in the word of God can use the word of God to change things. Confession. When he or she dwells on them, the demons go to the next level of making them act their thoughts. That's why Ephesians 4.27 says, Neither give place to the devil. You give place to him by giving place to his thoughts and words. Don't entertain his thoughts. When he comes with those negative, depressing thoughts thoughts that are contrary to God's word tell him off immediately. Respond with the word and he'll flee. If he tries to run rampage around you, remember what Jesus said would be a sign for those who believe in him, he said, in my name shall they cast out devils, Mark 16 17. So, cast him out, cast out his thoughts. So many things that happen in our world are influenced by demons. That's because the system of the world was created by Satan. And only men and women of faith in the word of God can use the word of God to change things. Further study, Ephesians 4 27 AMPC, Proverbs 4 23, Philippians 4 colon 8 AMPC. One year Bible reading plan, Luke 8 colon 22 39 and Joshua 5 to 6. Rhapsody of Realities. Friday, March 31st, 2023. Topic, This is our day. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power, 1 Corinthians 4 20. When Jesus came to this earth, it wasn't his day. In Luke 22:53, at the verge of his crucifixion, he said to the soldiers, This is your hour, and the power of darkness. So, he allowed himself to be arrested. When he ministered, he didn't go beyond the city of Jerusalem, Luke 24:49. That wasn't his day. The day of Christ is when he returns to judge the nations and begin his 1,000-year reign upon the earth. Read Philippians 1:10. Philippians 2 16, 2 Thessalonians 2 colon 2. The Bible says, In his days Judah shall be saved, 
and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Lord our righteousness, Jeremiah 23 colon 6. All those things will happen in his days, for 1000 years. That's at the millennium. But this is the day of the church. Glory to God. Realize this and take advantage of it. This is the day in which we must use all that he's given us for his glory. You've got to have the manifestation of power in your life. The kingdom of God isn't in words only, but in power also, 1 Corinthians 4.20. The tremendous miracles, signs, and wonders performed by Jesus and the apostles were chronicled in the Bible to inspire us and to let us know we can do the same in our day through the power of the same Spirit. Use what you've got. Praise God. Prayer. This is the day of the church, and thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Thank you Lord, for this dispensation which you've given us for your glory and for the manifestation of your power in our lives. The supernatural has become an everyday experience for the church, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Isaiah 53 53,10, Romans 8,19-21. One Year Bible Reading Plan, Luke 8,40-56 and Joshua 7-9.